Hi, it's Chelsea. And it's Mia. Welcome back to Moda 2000's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to tie a corset for the morning of your quince. The first step is petticoats. Woo! Get excited, girl. <laughs> we have two different petticoats that we're going to be putting on Mia. The first one is our Aro con tu. Um, here at Moto 2000, we have the best petticoats. So when Mia sits down, she's not gonna go like flying up like in the Disney movie. She's gonna be, you know, pretty and like laid down. So this is the first one, and then this is our second one. The way to get the perfect petticoat try on <laughs> is to make sure that the petticoats are above her belly button. So you wanna make sure it's like on the smallest part of her waist. You gotta make sure it's really tight, and if it's not tight enough, it is gonna go down like that, and that's what we don't want. And then you just wanna double loop it for that extra protection. So now um, Mia's waist is gonna look really snatched, and it's probably gonna be a little uncomfortable, but that's okay. Right, next, we're gonna add our volume petticoat. This one's gonna go directly over, and we wanna make sure that this side, that's like the like soft side and not the tool side, is closest to her body. So we're just gonna flip the petticoat around. Don't worry about this looking like all messy. We want that, that way it could give your dress extra volume. And now it's time for the dress. Are you excited, Mia? Yes, red yes. is a bold color. Red is the OG Moda 2000 color for y'all that didn't know. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and stand in the front. And then for us moms that our kids are too short for us or too tall for us, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and have her squat and then put your hands up and wave them like you just don't <laughs> care. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw it over. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna it over her. And then don't worry too much about fixing the bottom. Right now, we're just gonna focus on putting on the dress. So you wanna have your quinceanera be helping you make sure that the dress stays put. Okay, now we're gonna start off with the corset. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your liso and you're gonna put it through the first loop. And then you're gonna put it through the same loop on the other side. Once you have them both through the loop, you're gonna go ahead and grab both of the ends. And you're just gonna make sure that they're together and then you're just gonna pull back to make sure that you have it all even. Okay, now you're gonna go ahead and start crossing them over. So you're just gonna grab the one side and cross it over to the other side and loop it in. And you don't have to worry too much about pulling it right now because all we wanna do is just focus on placing the liston over to the loops. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and keep on looping it. One trick to loop it is to grab it, especially if most moms on the day of the quinta they have nails. You're just gonna go ahead and grab it like this, place it over, push it, and then just grab it. As you're putting in the corset, you're gonna go ahead and grab the dress and you're gonna, you wanna lift it up that way you could make sure that when once it is on, it's not on too low. Um, so go ahead and lift it up and then just have your quinceanera help you holding it and holding it from the front. See right now, it's not, the, the cover is not covering all of her skin. But that's okay because once we start pulling the corset and making it tighter, it's gonna start covering. So you wanna grab it from the first loops and just push your fingers in and then pull back and then fix the, the cover inside. And then you're gonna, just gonna grab onto the second one and then pull, let go of it and then just pull. You could always go back and pull more if you feel like the dress needs to. Um, so if you feel like you didn't make it tight enough or if your quinceanera wants it tighter, then you could always go back later on to tighten it as well. If you're just gonna grab her, pull the last ones. Okay, and then you're just gonna go ahead and cross these and you could leave them out, um, but if you don't want them to show, you could just go ahead and tuck them into the dress opening. Just stuff them in there and then your dress should have a zipper and then you're just gonna zip it up and tie it through here. 
And that's it. Okay, now you want to go ahead and fix the bottom layers of your dress. You're going to go ahead and grab it and then just help however help you by holding it up for you. And you want to make sure that this layer in the bottom, the last one to the dress, is all straightened out. So you're just going to grab it and pull. And then you're just going to fix it wherever you feel like you need to fix it. And then she's done. Okay, so now we added the crown, the cape, the finishing touches on Mia's dress, and now she's ready. I hope this helps you guys out on the day routine so to make things a little less stressful. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let us know what you guys want to see next. Thank you. Bye. Bye.